Like this girl is crazy like Black girl magic Got your attention Nigga why they like them Donald Tell me pussy better tend to run a fumble Talked out of shit and must have thought I was a runner Megan told y'all it's a hot girl summer Pretty ass lady but I'm so nasty What is up you guys it's your girl Renita Lane And we is back up in this thing yo. And we back with another lit ass video if you're a returning og subscriber welcome back to the side y'all already know how we get down and if you're a new subscriber welcome to the side we're full of positive energy and vibes only so if you with that negative shit you gotta go elsewhere because we ain't with that shit okay period okay so make sure you like up this video comment below and hit that bell so you're always notified when your girl is about to upload another lit ass video now as you read by the title this is about to be another crazy story time so get your drinkity drink 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 get your smoke get your food get whatever it is you like to indulge in when you're listening or watching my story times and baby let's get into this hot mess Okay, y'all, so I know y'all reading the title and y'all like, girl, Renita, like, who mans is you sleeping with? Like, I ain't even know you got down like that. Like, who mans is you sleeping with? Girl, I don't even know because we just be delusional, okay? So, let's get into the story time, y'all. Okay, so this story time is going to be about one of my friends that I was friends with for a long time. Probably a good, like, seven years or so. And it is a guy friend. So, I'm going to call him Smooth, okay? And the reason why I'm calling him Smooth is because literally this dude was a smooth-ass talker. Like, when I tell you he was talk so smooth, like, he got, literally got all the girls, okay? He was definitely a ladies mans okay um he, that's just how he was okay so me and smooth around this time i forgot what year was this i can't even remember what year it was but um around this time me and oh i almost said his name around this time me and smooth we was like real good friends like when i tell you that was like my brother that was my brother okay and when we met like we met through like mutual friends and I'm going to say this, and y'all going to see why I'm saying this. Me and this man, we had like a, plat how you say it, when two, uh, a male and a, a female can be friends with like no romance or nothing like that. What is it called? Uh, platonic? I think that's how you say it. If I said it wrong, y'all know what I mean. But we had that type of relationship, right? Like we were strictly friends. Like I was sus and he was bro you feel me like that's how our relationship was even when we first met like he never tried to talk to me i never tried to talk to him um was he an attractive person of course he was a very attractive person i'm an attractive person we never tried to talk to each other nothing it was strictly like a friendship like we really built a good ass bond and a friendship like that was really my brother or whatever okay y'all gonna see why i'm saying all this in a minute so boom so we had a good ass relationship we cool as hell we always go out together like if you saw him you saw me if you saw me you saw him that's just how we used to roll back in the day you feel what i'm saying so me and him we cool as hell so fast forward he and uh me and him end up going out one night so we went out one night and we had a mutual friend that was supposed to be meeting us up there but uh her and another person they end up canceling so it was just me and smooth we was me and smooth had went to i think it was like a little bar like a little bar lounge or something like that in dallas so we went to like the little bar lounge or whatever and it's cool we chilling like friend uh smooth he bought me a drink you know what i'm saying he would always do that he would always look out for his friends especially the girls that were his friend he would always look out for us or whatever you know what i'm saying real cool whatever so we at the bar we having drinks we just having a good ass time just enjoying a night out you know enjoying you know each other's company being friends or whatever laughing joking having a good conversation whatever whatever so he ended up seeing this girl across the way that he wanted to holler at because he had nudged me he was like oh bro look like he was like oh bro look at her look at her she bad she bad and so i turned around i was like oh no she is she real bad she pretty you know what i'm saying she had a nice body you know what i'm saying you know i give props to and doing like she really did look good good she was cute or whatever so i was just like oh yeah go talk to her go talk to her whatever so he goes and he goes and chops it up with her and talks to her so I guess the girl had seen me and him at the bar and she just automatically assumed that I was his girl or whatever because when he was talking to her, she said, I think he told me she said something along the lines of like, ain't that your girl at the bar? I just saw you buy her something to drink 
or whatever ain't that your girl like i've been kind of seeing y'all over there at the bar or whatever he was just like oh no that's like the bro like that's my friend like it ain't nothing like that going on and i guess she was kind of like kind of looked at him like mm, like mm -hmm, yeah whatever and he was like no like you can come you can come meet her and come talk to her whatever so she come over now i'm gonna give her the name what we gonna name her bitch i already <laughs> We gonna name her Mo, y'all. And the reason why I'm naming her Mo is because she literally had this Mo that sat right here. I don't know what this part is called right here, but it literally sat like right here in between like the little nose area and her lip right here, right? And it was real big. Like it protruded out a little bit. Like and when she talked, it looked like the Mo was doing hydraulics or some shit. Like it was just... <laughs> bitch it just it always used to bother me i don't know why it used to bother me because it was like in an interesting spot because i never seen nobody with no mole that was like smack dead like right there and like it just bothered me because it was just like interesting something ever just bother you but you can't take your eyes off of it it was like one of them like and i would have to try not to stare so hard in that one area but she was a pretty girl she just had this big ass mole right here and i never seen nothing like that but anyway that thing would always like you know hydraulics when she talking shit so we gonna call her Mo. So Smooth and Mo had walked up to me, y'all. They had walked up to me and he was like, "Bro, like, cause he always would call me bro and shit like that." Like I told you, I was like one, literally one of the bros. So he was like, "Bro, tell her like me and you as friends, like we ain't got nothing going on. She think I'm with you or whatever." And I was just like, "Oh yeah, girl, I'm his friends. Like we we cool. Like ain't nothing like that going on." Woo -woo -woo -woo. She was just like, she was like, so y'all are friends. I was like, yeah, we friends. He was like, I find that hard to believe two good looking people up here by themselves, just y'all two and y'all just friends. And I'm just like looking at him like, well, I mean, believe it. Like, this is my friend. Like, this is one of the bros. Like, we ain't never, ever crossed no lines. Like, like this is strictly my friend. Like, and she was just like, mm, okay. But the way, like, she was talking to me. And the way her energy was, even when he brought her over there, it was always off. Like, her energy to me was always off from the jump. But I never really said nothing about it because I thought maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm just drunk and just, you know, whatever, whatever. Like, but I just always felt like her energy was off. So, that happened. Boom. They met. That's how they met. And then, like, fast forward or whatever, um, some time had passed. They had been dating for, like, a long time. Like, because I think when he met her... How long were we friends when he met her? I know we were friends for like seven years, but I'm trying to think about the years in between then when they met. I don't know, but we was friends for a long time and they were dating for a long time. Probably about like, they had been dating for like a year after that night that um he had met her or whatever. So fast forward, they had been dating. Now in between time, like before it got to like the year mark and stuff like that, in between the time, like every time I was around smooth, and Mo, like I always used to notice that Mo didn't really fuck with me like that. And I never really knew why. Like her energy was always off. Every time I came around, it's just like her whole mood, her whole energy used to change around me. And I never, and at first I used to think I was tripping about it. And I never brought it up to Smooth because I literally thought I was tripping. But then it was just a couple of times where I'm like, no, nah, I'm not tripping. See, so I had went to Smooth and had like this little get together. I think it was like a um a housewarming or something like that he had when he had moved. He had like this little housewarming. And so I had went to the housewarming. I came in, you know, Smooth, he greeted me. We hugged. I'm like, hey, hey. And then like every time like I would hug him and like she would be around the area and I see her, like I might happen to look up while we hugging or whatever. She would be like kind of mean mugging me. And then like when she would see that I was looking at her, looking at her, she would kind of like fix her face real quick. Like she wasn't just like mean mugging me as we was hugging. And I just I always think that was weird. And then every time I would like greet her, I'd be like, oh, hey, Mo. And she would look at me. She'd be like, oh, hey. Hmm. Like did one of them. I'm just like, what the hell? Like that's so fake. Like the way she would say hey to me would be so fake. It was like she did not want to speak to me or say hey to me. It was like she had like something like it was just something about me it's like she did not like and i never knew what it was but y'all gonna see in a minute what it was but i just never knew i'm like what why does she act like this around me and then anytime i was around like she would never be she would be there but she would never be too 
Like, she would never be too far, but, like, she would always just kind of, like, distance herself or she would be staring at me or if I'm interacting with him. It wasn't until I started interacting with him where she would kind of get closer and she would be all up on him, touchy, lovey-dovey and shit like that. And it was almost like she was doing that because she thought maybe, like, I would feel a type of way, but that was my friend, like, and it's been my friend. Like, I don't feel no type of way about that, right? So... Fast forward, okay, she's, she's acting weird around me, weird-ass energy, acting real stank attitude, like, me mugging me, uh, fake little highs and grins and frowns or whatever. So, she would always do this, and I would always notice it, but I would never say nothing, you know, because it was my, it was smooth girl, it was my homeboy's girl, so I never wanted to, like, you know, just bring any type of tension or whatever. I just didn't want to bring it up to him or whatever, but I always peeped it. So, boom. Fast forward, this be this has been happening for some time now, but I never say nothing about it, right? I'm just like, you know, I'm tripping, whatever, whatever. But this is the day where I found out that I really wasn't tripping. Like, you know what I'm saying? I really wasn't tripping, right? So, boom. Fast forward, this was like, I think this happened like, I can't remember what day it was, but it was some day. It might have been like a weekend or something like that. No, it was a, you know what? It was like a Thursday or Friday because I had just did an interview and I was waiting on a phone call, y'all. I was waiting on a call back from this interview that I just had. You know, girl was trying to get this job, trying to get this little coin, you feel me, at that time. So I was waiting on this phone call and they told me to be expecting a phone call from like a 4-6 number or whatever. So I was just picking up whatever phone call came to me or whatever. So this one number had called me and of course I didn't know it. And usually I don't pick up numbers that I don't know. But like I said, I was expecting a phone call. So this 469 number called me. So I picked up. I'm like, hello? So as soon as I picked up, they was like, hey, hey yo, is this, um, this Renita? I was like, yeah, this is Renita. She was like, um, this is Mo. And I'm like, oh, hey, Mo. I was like, what's up? Like, how you get my number? I didn't even know you had my number. And she was just like, oh, yeah, you know, I got it from Smooth. And I was like, oh, okay, what's up? She was like, yeah, I need to talk to you. And I was like, okay. And then the way she was talking, you could, you could already hear the attitude in her voice. And I was, so I was kind of like, damn, what the fuck she got to talk to me about? Because we never really talk. Like, when we're around each other, she barely say two fucking words to me. And then the most of the time, she's looking at me real stank. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just like, okay, like, what we finna talk about or whatever. So she like, um, she was like, yeah, I just wanted to say, like, I really don't feel comfortable with you around my man. So I'm like, as soon as I heard that, I'm like, what? Like, why you say that? Like, it's, that's my friend. She was like, yeah, y'all been using that friend card since I been, since I uh, met y'all, whatever. And I just really feel like even that night when you first met him or I first met him, whatever, I really felt like y'all had something going on. And maybe you was just one of them chicks like you fuck around with him. But, you know, you know, he gonna have like other little situations going on. I was like, well, I don't know why you felt like that, but me and him are literally just friends. Like we, he ain't never hit on me. He ain't never tried to get with me, flirt with me, nothing like that. Like we're strictly just friends. Like I don't even know why you feel that way. She was like, nah, I really don't want to hear that. I really was just calling you to let you know that I don't want you to talk to him no more because I feel how I feel and I feel my woman's intuition is telling me that something's going on. I'm like, big woman's intuition, first of all, in my head, I'm just like, your woman intuition. Like, girl, your woman intuition is all the way fucked up, okay? It's not getting the right signal, okay? <laughs> you might not be a woman. Was you born a woman? Because the, don't use the woman intuition card because, baby, right now, your shit thrown all the way the fuck off. Is you trans? Because you can't be a real woman because your shit is thrown off. It's not getting the right signal. So I'm just like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Like, she was just like, yeah, like, I feel in my gut that y'all really be on some fuck shit, like, and I don't like that. Like, I feel like you want my man. So I just want to tell you that I don't want you to be around my man no more. Like, I really just want you to ghost him. Don't talk to him no more. And just let us do our thing. You know what I'm saying? Just respect our relationship. I'm like, first of all, I've always respected y'all relationship. Second of all, that is my friend. That's been my friend for seven years now. Like, he's been my friend before you even came in the picture. So, for you to call me and tell me not to talk to my friend because you got some type of personal vendetta or some shit against me. Or you got some insecurity about me and his friendship. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Like, you need to take that up with yourself. Because it sounds like you got big-ass insecurity about me and his friendship. And I felt like you've always felt like that. And I don't know why, because I've never given you the reason to feel like me and my friend was fucking around.
ever. You know what I'm saying? And then she was just like, like what? Personal vendetta? What? Insecure? Like, girl, bye. Like, ain't nobody insecure over you. I didn't say you was insecure about me. I said you was insecure about me and his relationship. But it's clear that you're insecure about me. Like, just by saying it alone, like, she was like, girl, ain't nobody insecure. Like, what I gotta be insecure about? I said, clearly you're insecure because you don't want me to be friends with somebody I've been friends with for seven years. Like, and you just telling me to let him go and ghost him and don't talk to him no more. Like, that's not gonna happen. She was just like, you heard what I said. Like, I don't like that. Like, I feel like you being disrespectful because you're not listening to what I'm saying. Like, if I feel uncomfortable and I feel a certain type of way about you, like I said, like, I don't want you to talk to my man no more. So just don't talk to my man no more and don't call him and tell him that I called you and I had this conversation. Just let it be what it is and just let the let the friendship go because I don't feel, I don't feel right about it. I was just like bitch like because at this point she had me fucked up she had me fucked up so yes i called the girl at her name i'm like bitch you can't tell me not to talk to my motherfucking friend that's my friend like you can't tell me not to call him like i'm for sure gonna call him like you think i'm not gonna call him after you done came at me like this like girl you got me fucked up like that man had me fucked up like bitch the audacity bitch Bitch, I love saying that word. Like, that bitch had me saying, this girl had the fucking audacity, the audacity of you to call me and come at me sideways like this. Like, what? Like, girl, put me in any dramatic moment where I can say audacity. <laughs> you didn't put no barbecue sauce on my sandwich, the audacity. <laughs> Let me stop. But anyway, it was just like, girl, the audacity of this bitch, bitch. Like, what the fuck? Like, she really had me messed up, y'all. And then she gonna say, you heard what I said. And he gonna hang up the phone. So I'm looking at the phone like, oh, this bitch got me fucked up, y'all. She got me messed up. So I'm like, y'all already know I had to call my friend. Of course I had to call him. So I, I end up texting him. I'm like, bro, what you doing? He was like, oh, I'm at the crib chilling. I said, okay, bet I'm about to call you. It's important. He was like, all right, cool, bet. So I end up calling him. So I call him. I'm like, yo, your girl is tripping. Like, Mo called me, your girl's tripping. He was like, what? Like, what you talking about? Like, I was like, bro, she tripping, bro. I said, you gave her my number, huh? And he was like, yeah, I gave her your number, like, maybe like a week ago. Because she said she was going to hit you up about some girl shit or whatever. But, yeah, like, I was like, nah, bro. Nah, bro, you won't believe what she hit me up and said. So, me and Smooth started talking about it and I started giving him a rundown. I was like, okay, so basically your girl, she called me on some, basically she don't want me to talk to you no more because she think me and you got something going on. Like she think me and you were messing around before y'all two were together and she feel like we'd be doing stuff on the low or whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, I'm just basically giving him the rundown of what I just told you she said. To me, I'm telling it to him. And he's just like, bro, you lying. I was like, bro, I ain't never lied to you a day in my life. Like, this girl really called me on that type of time and basically was telling me, like, ghost you, don't talk to you no more. Like, she just don't feel comfortable, whatever. Like, this girl really tripped out on the phone and really was telling me not to mess with you no more because that's how she feel. That's, and that's how she really feel or whatever. I was like, bro, I knew it. I knew it. This bad energy I've been feeling from her all this long. Like, bro, I knew it. She, He was just like, just calm down, calm down. Like, I'm going to call her and talk to her. Like, because that's hard for me to believe. Like, on some real shit. Like, that's hard for me to believe. I'm like, smooth. Like, I'm trying to tell you. Like, I never lie to you, bro. Like, we've been friends for how long? Like, come on, dog. Like, she really on some fuck shit. Like, she really on that type of time. So he was just like, okay, bet I'm going to call her. I was like, no, nah, call her with me on three-way. And he's just like, man, calm down. I ain't going to do that because I know how you are. I was like, nah, call her, call her with me on three-way. Like, I'm telling you, she really said that. He was like, okay, 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 okay. I'm going to call her on three-way. I'm going to call her on three-way. But don't say nothing. Don't say nothing until I get off the phone. Like, for real, for real, Renita, for real. Don't say nothing. I know how you is. Like, don't say nothing. I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to keep quiet. I'm, I ain't going to say shh. I ain't going to say nothing. But y'all, y'all know how long that lasted. But anyway, so he's like, okay, cool, bet. I'm about to click up. I'm about to call. I'm going to put it on three-way. All right, cool, bet. So I'm sitting over there. I'm hot. Like, I'm real hot because she really had me messed up how she came at me. So I'm just, I'm hot right now. So he ended up clicking over and putting it on three-way. Boom. We on three-way. She pick up the phone. Hello. 
So I'm just on the phone listening. I'm ready for a bitch to lie. You feel me? <laughs> I'm ready for a bitch to lie. So he picked the phone. He was like, yo, babe. She was like, yeah, what's up? He was like, yo, babe, um, Renita just called me and told me that, you know, you was on some weird shit. Like, you called her and basically told her that you didn't want her to talk to me no more because you felt like me and her used to have something going on and we was messing around and that you don't want her to be my friend no more and to just ghost me and some shit like that. Like, is that true? Like, you really call her? Is that why you asked me for her, her number about a week ago because you, you was about to call her on some shit like this? And she was like... Y'all won't even believe what this bitch said. She was like, what? Me? Like, I would never do that, babe. Like, you know me, babe. Like, I don't have no type of problems with Renita. Like, I love her. Like, she's so sweet. Like, she's a good friend of you. Like, I would never say that. Like, oh my God, I can't believe she would say that I would do that. Like, why would she say that about me? Like, you know me, babe. Bitch. <laughs> window it went out the door okay like it was gone okay it was a wrap from there i was like bitch you a motherfucking lie like how you gonna sit up here and bald face lie like that like you a fucking lie you did you ain't just called me just a few minutes ago she was just like she was like renita she was like oh she's on the phone she then my homeboy he was like yo yo renita chill 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 and like i really wasn't trying to hear that because like bro like she was dead lying like she was dead lying like how she sound on that phone right then and there versus how she sound when she was just talking to me on the phone two different people bro two different people i was like oh my god like this girl got me messed up y'all like i was heated so that happened and i like end up going off on the phone and then smooth he was trying to calm me down he was like yo like chill 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 he was like okay he was like mo like for real like what happened she was like no like i didn't even call you like renita i don't even know why you would tell him that or say that like babe i really never called her and said that i ain't even called her like so i don't even know where she would get that from i was like she fucking lying. I'm like, she fucking lying, friend. Like, no, I got her number. Her number's in my phone right now. I can tell you the number that called my phone right now. And it's her number. It's her number that called my phone. Like, I can tell you the number right now. And you'll know that she really did call me just a few seconds ago and was on it. Because remember, she just told him on the phone, like, I ain't even called her yet. Da -da -da -da. So, and then she was like, yeah yeah just tell me the number like i promise you it's not gonna be my number like babe it's not gonna be my number i was like man i got her number right here i'll tell it right now he was like what what's the number Renita? tell me the number and then she in the background still saying like yeah i promise you it's not my number like babe i really didn't call her like just pissing me the fuck off like bitch shut the <laughs> like, i really want to go through the phone on her ass so I'm like, the number is 469 dot, 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 right? And I said, remember I told you a 469 number called me. And my friend Smooth was like, bro, that's, that's not her number. I'm like, huh? What you mean it's not her number? That's the number that she called me on. He was like, Renita. Like, he kind of said it like that as if he's starting to believe that I made this up in my head or whatever and just was trying to start some drama or some shit. He was like, Renita, bro, that's not her number. And then she was going to be like, and then she chiming in. Yeah, Renita, that's not my number. Like, I don't even know why you would lie like that and tell him something like that. Like, is there something wrong? Like, is there something going on between y'all? Like, is this, do you like him or something? Like, why would you do that? Like, she started to pull that fucking car, y'all. She pulled the, do you like him? Like, are you trying to get him to leave me? Like, she really pulled that car, y'all. When I tell you, I was fucking boiling. And then just listening to how my homeboy Smooth was just like, bro, like, you really tripping. Like, that's not her number, like. So in my head, I'm like, well, she, the bitch must have used the WhatsApp or something or she called from somebody else's phone. But, bro, she called me, bro. Like, this is the number that called me, bro. And he was just like, bro, give me the number and I'll call, I'll call the number. I'll get off the phone and I'll call the number. I was like, bro, that's the number she called me from. So he write the little number down or whatever, whatever. 
And I was like, man, fuck it. So I get off the phone. I hang up. I don't know what they talked about after that. I just know I was heated. I'm just like, what the fuck, bro? How did this shit turn on me so quick? Like, how did that shit... Like, this girl is crazy. Like, and then at this point, I'm like, she planned this shit. She planned this shit. She probably didn't know I was going to be on a three-way call. But she knew. She had to have known that he was going to... That I was going to call him... And then he was going to eventually call her and she probably was going to say all the shit that she said over the phone. And she probably was like, oh, she probably going to give him the number and say what number called or whatever. And I'm just going to say this because it's not my number. Like she knew what she was doing, y'all. Like she probably really plotted this because she knew I was going to call him because that's my friend at the end of the day. Like, come on now. So I hung up the phone and I had sent him the number or told him the number or whatever. And he called me back and he was like, bro that's not her number and when i call the number it goes straight to voicemail like that's not even her number like what's really good Renita? like what's good i was like bro i promise you she called me from that number i'm like bro it must have been a whatsapp number or she must have called from somebody else's phone like but i'm telling you bro like she really called me on that type time bro like why would i make this up he was like Renita, do you got feelings for me i'm like what the bro like what are you really asking me this right now he was like bro no for real like do you really got feelings for me like was this your way of like i don't know trying to give me to break up with her like do you got feelings for me bro like just be honest like we've been friends for a long time and we ain't never really been on that type time and i ain't never really tried nothing with you you ain't never tried nothing with me but like do you secretly got feelings for me and i'm just like wow my own friend dog my own friend dog like is falling for the okie doke like bro what the fuck is it am i in the fucking twilight zone like what the fuck like i'm really thinking i'm in a twilight zone right now i'm like what in the hell bro i'm like no bro no bro like you know i ain't got feelings for you i ain't never looked at you in that way like i don't want your biscuit head ass like no bro like at this point i'm starting to call him names like bro no no he was just like bro like I don't know, bro. Like, I really feel like you was on some funny shit. And the way my girl sound, I really feel like she telling me the truth. And if you really on that type shit, like, bro, I can't, I can't have nothing to do with you. So I'm just like, bro, are you serious right now? Like, we've been knowing each other for how long? And you only been with this girl for what? A year? I think it was like a year or something at the time. Like, for real, he was like, nah, like, it seemed like you on some funny shit. Like, that ain't even her number. Like, I could see if it was her number, then I'd be like, okay, she did call you on some fuck shit. But nah, like, the way she sounded, like, on the phone, like, no, nah, like, bro, you lying to me. And I'm like, all right. I was like, all right, cool. He was like, I mean, I'm sorry, bro, but you can't do shit. Like, I'm like, all right, cool, bye. So I hung up the fucking phone because I'm fucking mad. And in my head, I'm just like, if I ever see her, it's on motherfucking sight. I swear. I swear it's on sight when I see her. Because I was that fucking heated, y'all. Like, I was so heated. I'm like, it's on sight. So, that happened fast forward. Remember I told y'all we have mutual friends or whatever. And, like I said, like, I feel like she plotted this whole thing. And she knew that it was going to go this way. Because of how it went down. So, she knew eventually, like, he was going to do what he did, right? So we got mutual friends and one of my mutual friends, she hit me up. She was just like, and none of, none of them know about what happened. Cause I ain't even, I was so mad. Like I ain't even bring it up. I ain't even say nothing about it. I was just like, whatever it is, what it is. So one of our mutual friends, he was just like, um, Hey, you seen uh such and such page. Like, I think a girl, like he had posted something showing like an ultrasound or something like that. So I guess all girl had ended up being pregnant or whatever. And I was like, no, I ain't talked to him. Like, I ain't talked to him. Some shit went down. And she was like, what happened? It's like, I don't really want to get into it right now. But like, yeah, some shit went down. She was like, oh, okay. But I was just calling you to let you know. Like, did you see it? Like, I don't know if you've seen it. Like, everybody was commenting. Congratulations. I ain't see you comment. I was just like, no, I ain't seen it. So, of course, I'm being nosy. So, I go on there to go see. And I'm blocked. <laughs> I'm blocked. So apparently, I don't know if he blocked me when all that stuff happened, but I'm blocked. Then I went to go text him like, like, yo. And I'm blocked on text message too. So I'm like, wow, this nigga really blocked me. Like, 
wow like this is crazy like oh my god the manipulation but this shit was so crazy to me so i'm just like this nigga fucking blocked me so y'all literally she thought we and him was really messing around with each other then she had concocted <laughs> All this shit to go down the way that she wanted it to go down. Because she knew what she was doing. Like, she really knew what she was doing. I give it to her. I give it to her. You know what I'm saying? Somebody give her an Oscar. Okay? Because the bitch was acting her motherfucking ass off on that phone when we was on three-way, y'all. Like, it really flipped. Like, her tone of voice. Oh, my God. Like, I don't know why she would do that. Like, but y'all like that shit was so crazy but the more crazy thing like years down had passed and of course i told our mutual, i ended up telling our mutual friends what happened and they was just like bro that's fucked up like how can he believe her over you like y'all been friends for how long da, 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 da. so i was just like yeah like that's real fucked up or whatever so time had passed and something ended up happening between them and of course we had mutual friends and my mutual friend had came and told me like, yo, like kind of like a similar situation happened that happened with y'all with somebody else. And come to find out a whole bunch of stuff had came out to where she had been lying about a whole bunch of shit, whatever. And then I end up, my friend said she ended up talking to him about our situation. She was just like, dog, you know, Renita ain't do that shit to you for real, right? Like, you know, that wasn't her. Like after all that shit that happened with you and old girl, Mo, like, and you see now that she's a liar and a manipulator, like you see how she operates. So you know that shit back then did not happen with Renita, like how that girl was saying. He was just like, man, yeah, I found that out like a while ago. I just didn't know how to like come back to Renita and, like, and tell her because I felt dumb and stupid that I believed this girl over my friend that I've been friends with for about like seven years or whatever. So he's saying it to one of our mutual friends or whatever. So he ended up, he did end up reaching back out to me, y'all. And we did have a whole little conversation about the whole thing. And, you know, he was trying to, like, make it right. But I was just kind of, like, on some, like, I'm cool on you, dog. Like, because I didn't like how that shit went down. I didn't like how he just automatically, like, he know me as a person. Like, he barely knew her and he really know me. But the way she played it, like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. She played it good as hell. Like, if I was him, I probably would have, I might have believed it. But I just really couldn't fuck with him after that. I was like, bro, like, I accept your apology, but... I can't really move with you like that no more because I don't really like how you just really just abandoned me as a friend. Like, you really just took her word and ran with it. And I understand it was in a relationship, but I was just like, that shit wasn't cool. Like, we was better than that, and he really knew me for real. Like, he know I'm not on that type of time or like that at all. So, it was just real fucked up, y'all. So, that's the story time of when one of my guy friends girlfriends really thought we was messing around and she didn't want me to be friends with him no more like she was literally like i really feel like the girl was jealous of me like she really was jealous of me and she really had a big ass insecurity about me and his relationship like and i don't know what it was about me that just made her just so uncomfortable with us being friends but she was she was insecure it is what it was like you know what i'm saying and that's that but yeah y'all that's my story time y'all i really didn't think the story time was gonna be that long but it's about like 30 minutes or something like that but yeah y'all that is my crazy crazy ass story time about this crazy ass girl mo um but yeah y'all make sure y'all like up this video comment below and hit that bell so you're always notified when your girl is about to upload another lit ass video y'all okay and like I always say, tell your mama, your daddy, your auntie, your uncle, your cousins, and them to subscribe to your girl. Because we stay what? Lit. And we always lit over her baby. <laughs> and until the next video, y'all, your girl is ass.